Why do I look like Papa Smurf? Why do I now look like I have the world's worst spray tan? Find out today, because we're talking about white balance. So in the last video we discussed aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. If you haven't watched that yet, stop. Stop right now, stop whatever you're doing, go watch it. I'll be here when you get back. All right, so hopefully now you know how to freeze action shots, get those bocalicious blurry portraits, and you're feeling pretty good about yourself, eh? Well, give yourself a pat on the back because that's an awesome achievement. But be careful, you're not out of the woods yet. No matter how good you do aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, if you get white balance wrong, your pictures are still gonna look a little wonky. So to keep it simple, white balance is gonna determine the entire color cast of your image. It's gonna decide whether the color white appears a little bit blue, a little bit orange, or white as our eyes see it. So I don't know about you, but when I walk in and out of a building, turn lights on or off, it doesn't really alter the way I see colors. I mean, yes, I can tell the difference between different kinds of lighting, but I've never walked outside and been like, huh, the world looks really blue today. Our eyes and the inner workings of our brain do a pretty good job of automatically balancing out colors and Modern cameras do a pretty good job as well. When I'm making vlogs or I'm taking a lot of pictures quickly, I pretty much just leave my camera's white balance on auto and it gets it right most of the time. But it's not always perfect. Sometimes if you're on auto white balance and you take a photo, it's just gonna look wrong. For instance, when I'm filming right now, I have a really warm light next to me. If I put my camera on auto white balance, it looks like this. Kinda weird, huh? So we need to balance that out by adjusting the white balance in camera and making it cooler. Now white balance, also known as color temperature, is measured in kelvins and can be really cold and blue, sitting around 2,000 kelvins, or really warm and orange, sitting at about 10,000 kelvins. Your job as a photographer or videographer is to use this knowledge to tell your camera how to correct for shooting in different types of light, to balance it out. Now, most cameras should have a bunch of presets you can use to do this, like daylight, shade, cloudy, tungsten, fluorescent. I think that's most of them. And most of these presets can be pretty fast and pretty helpful, but I find it's easier if you just enter in the exact Kelvins to get a more precise look. Now, if you're going for a more journalistic look, you wanna get that white balance dialed in and you want your photos to look true to life. But you don't have to do that. White balance is one of those things you can use to be creative adding cool or warm tones to adjust the mood of your image and what you're trying to convey. For instance, here's a photo I took earlier this summer while climbing a mountain. Now the sunrise shot looks good, but it doesn't accurately represent how I was feeling on that mountain. It was freezing cold, there were blistering winds, so let's add a little bit of a cooler look to this image. Yeah, that's better. Wait, no, no. I remember when that sun came up, it burned the mist away, blasted us with warmth, I want to emphasize the power and the heat of that sun rising, so let's add some warm tones to the image. You can see how these minor changes in temperature do make a pretty dramatic effect on how a photo looks. White balance is a great tool for helping a camera interpret a scene correctly, but it can also be used creatively to change the vibe of an image and convey something differently. Just be careful not to overdo it. Anyways, that's white balance. For your homework, I'm going to have you go take some photos inside, go take some photos outside, Play with that white balance, see how it changes how an image looks, and try and use it to convey different meaning. As always, if you liked the video, be sure to like it. If you have any questions, have any comments, hit up that comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again for watching. My name is Josh Wojnarowski. Check me out on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next one.